written a story about Sun International and the tough trading conditions that they're facing and their response to those trading conditions. I think it's been well documented that Sun International are struggling to um, get traction in their growth markets and that they've already initiated cost-cutting measures, some of them quite radical. In fact, it's been reported that 1,700 jobs could be affected by a restructuring to make the local operations more viable. But over and above that, I think there's some strategic issues that are going to affect Sun International. I might see a change in their strategy and affect change in the way they operate in the future. I suppose the biggest thing is looking at the housing market. The housing market is quite a tough market. There are a number of casinos in, in that market already. Sun International and Carnival City. And if you look at the results of Carnival City in isolation, traded at 50% EBITDA margin compared to some of the other casinos in large urban areas like Durban, which operated a 35% margin, and the Grand Best Casino in Canton, which actually achieved a 40% margin. Obviously, there's a lot of pressure on, on Carnival City, but it's not only from the other casinos. In the onset of the limited power of machine, machine operations, the electronic bingo operations, which are now starting to grow, they're eating into the market share of Sun International, and I think they're very concerned about this. Ironically, these operations are owned by Nivius, which is an HCI um, operation, which of course is aligned to the, to the rival gaming company, Sogo Sun, which is obviously of more concern. Now, the way that Sun International might respond is through cost cutting, obviously, but I think there's another uh, a larger issue, and they've hinted at maybe moving into the limited power of machine operations and electronic bingo operations as well. And that could be a fascinating move. Number one, the, the market is very fragmented. If they want to buy something, there are a lot of mom and, pom op mom and pop operators, and that's going to cost them a lot of management time and possibly overpaying for assets by chasing single individual operations in a you know, bid to build a large presence. The, the CEO of Sun National Grand Team has admitted he'd rather buy an existing platform in the LPM and the EBT market. But that could be even more fascinating. There's, there are only a few players you could look at, and the most obvious one is Grand Parade Investments, which ironically is already the Sun International Empowerment Partner in the Western Cape. And why would this deal make sense? I think the deal makes sense from, from, one, from the most important point of view is that Grand Parade probably wouldn't mind a bit of extra capital. They've got the Burger King franchise to roll out incredibly well, and that to roll this out aggressively, they're going to need a fair amount of, of capital in the next three or four years. So there could be a chance for them to maybe sell part of their um, limited payout machine operation, or let's call it the alternative, alternative gaming operation, to Sun International, retain a passive stake, and let Sun International run these. Sun International has already committed itself to the um, alternative gaming market by buying uh, VaultBet, which they've turned into, Sun, to, into SunBet. And uh, I think their initiatives in this regard should be watched quite closely over the next few months.